been getting the message that your answers are not correct and you'd like some help, this video will remind you of some of the key terms and give you some tricks on how you can get your right answers. Okay, so we're starting out. Our ghost started out at negative 7. He moves to the right all the way to positive 6, and then he comes back, finally coming to rest at negative 2. The first thing it wants is the turning position, so that is obviously at the positive 6 mark. They want the ending position, so that's at the negative 2 mark. They want the starting position, and that was at the negative 7 mark. So we've got the three easy ones out of the way. They then want the average speed for the second leg of the trip. The second leg of the trip is when you go from the turning point to the ending point, which is right here. So he went a total of 8 meters with speed, directions not important. So he went 8 meters in 4 seconds. That's 2 meters per second. Don't pick the one with the negative because, again, we're looking at speed. Okay, it wants the average velocity for the first leg of the trip. With velocity, you do have to worry about direction. So he went to the right. He covered from negative 7 to positive 6, so that's 13 meters, and he did so in 5 seconds. So that is almost 3 meters per second. So that's to the right, so we picked positive 2.6. They want the average speed for the first leg of the trip. Well, speed, you don't need to worry about direction, so it's just going to be 2.6. Distance traveled for the entire trip. That's the total amount of ground that he covered, so he went 13 meters, then he came back 8 meters, so we're looking at a distance of about 21 meters. Again, don't worry about negative, it's total ground covered. Average velocity for the entire trip. With velocity, average, we're just looking at his displacement, which went from negative 7 to negative 2, so that's a displacement of positive 5 in nine seconds so that is right around 0.6 meters per second to the right so that's positive displacement for the entire trip we just said that was from the start point to the end point the turning point doesn't matter that's positive five meters average speed for the entire trip make sure you do the entire ground they cover so that was this whole distance from zero to one and back again and make sure you add your times together. So we're looking at an average speed of around 2.3. Again, speed does not include direction, so don't pick the negative. Okay, once you got all 10 done, you'll get a message saying, great work. Click the end button and send the result to your teacher. Okay, so you click on the end, type in your name, hit submit, it will then give you this page, let your teacher know how many attempts it took you before you got it right, tell you your answers are good, and again, take a screenshot, show it to your teacher.